yes we have an update of all updates so i think most of you guys are aware that i kind of covered the beef between peggy Gu and daniel wang that happened a few weeks ago uh before the end of the new year uh, daniel wang a very prominent disco house dj from berlin i'm um, originally from america but obviously resides in berlin very well connected in the berlin scene somebody who i'd say was a big motivator for myself to go to places like hotel de more at grace muller he wrote an amazing article for electronic beats a few years ago that he put together that kind of got me into that he obviously made some great records that i've played over time as well and it's just a bit of a mainstay in that sort of like disco housey sort of scene out there in berlin and for some odd reason um he seemed to have a little bit of a bee in his bonnet about peggy goo he completely you know put a business out there and basically alleged that she was a terrible neighbor then basically you know put out some behind the scenes stories about her in, uh, in the berlin to dance scene and djing and basically alluded to the fact that not a lot of people liked her and just basically went out of her went out of his way to destroy her reputation online right and at first it didn't seem like a big deal because i guess you know if you speak to certain folk or you search or you kind of go on certain platforms a lot of people don't really have that many great things to say about peggy they say that she probably represents everything that they hate about the scene she She's very vapid, image conscious, all about social media, um, blah, 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 whatever else you can label against her. So it seemed like an easy dunk. It seemed like an easy sort of like public feud to kind of predict, right? Um, experienced, well-established um, Berlin DJ decides to pick a fight with a run-of-the-mill influencer DJ who people um, subject, uh, people um, that people suspect is a doesn't have has ghost producers right you'd think it's a bit of an easy win but for some reason Danny wang did it in such a clumsy way that he somehow got people to back up peggy in this beef right in a beef that he's kind of uh, decided to take on board to bring down the scourge of influencers coming in and taking over the scene and not for the love he somehow lost because of how sloppily he done it and now he's put out an apology which feels like um, behind the scenes, Peggy put a bit of pressure on him, maybe threatening him with a lawsuit or two to keep her name out of his mouth. And now he's basically come back with his tail between his legs and decided to put out a public apology and recanting every single bit of a statement that he put out prior. Um, and even though he spent a concerted effort in order to kind of make her look horrible, now he's coming back with his tail in between his legs, telling everybody that he's sorry. So this is the screenshot and a statement he posted up on his Instagram. What 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 you should know well, why it's funny I think in general because I just like I said I think this this on paper should have been an easy win for him right he's the experienced dude he's the guy that's got more industry connections what more probably quote unquote well loved um well regarded in the scene in general he should be able to dunk on her easily but he didn't but the other thing to spot really quickly is that he's closed the comments so you can't comment on it even though the original statement that he put out he was absolutely going into the comments replying to people egging people on basically ramping them up to say more salacious things but in his statement comments are closed <laughs> and he's posted it all in public on his white so let's just read what he has to say absolute horror show a situation in it but it also does prove that peggy does move in silence like a gangster like i suspected and i i, I kind of expected this would be the approach that she would basically take if you want to speak pub if you want to it feels like with peggy if you want to shoot you better not miss because if you do she's going to come after you with with um with some force as it's been proven with this um hastily put together apology which feels like um it kind of came as a consequence of a very serious lawsuit being put together because i'm sure the german laws for defamation are a bit mad so this is the following apology I wish to issue a public apology to Peggy Goo I want to apologize publicly to Peggy because what I did was public look at him later you don't get to have any sort of moral high ground now motherfucker it continues as some of you may know i made a posting on facebook in early december 2020 which went viral quote unquote yeah because you wanted it to go viral um which caused a lot of pain confusion and hateful commentary on social media it was also upsetting to peggy's family colleagues friends and fans <laughs> it's so embarrassing having to write this for a minute she and i have she and i were neighbors in the same building for about four years and for a while we were even friends in fact when her hit record um have you pronounced 
once that came out, I sent her a message congratulating her because in fact, I like the sound of that record very much. Don't cop please now, mate. Don't cop fees. Do not cop please. She's not your friend. <laughs> You'd made that very clear. Uh, we continues here. There were differences which ended our friendship, but I was in the wrong for making um a and hateful commentary on social media it was very upsetting to, oh, sorry, I, I was wrong so we said da, da, da. i was wrong i was wrong for making the unfounded claims about her career and personal life which were not just wrong and unknowingly true but also none of my business of course they were none of your business that was the whole point we, we made originally in the video which I, when i covered it like fair enough she might be a c-u-n-t she might be a piece of shit she might be a pain in the ass but the attacks that he was going on just screamed of utter, utter unbridled jealousy. Somebody that couldn't come to grips with the idea that this new hot thing had come into DJing, didn't really play that long, and suddenly was getting all the opportunities presented to her under the sun and some, standing in front of Porsches, collecting money from flipping, um, you know, liquor brands, sponsorships with, you know, clothing companies getting flown around the world. And it just grated him especially because they lived in the same building so you can just imagine how shitty he must have felt you know bringing up his budget shopping and her coming in with her assistants carrying her flipping cucumbers and pineapples and he's struggling to lift things up the stairs to get to his own apartment i can imagine that level of jealousy but again if you're jealous just be jealous don't then start besmirching her name with all the other accusations you're throwing out there it's not necessary but again we can we digress um i i encourage my friends and other people who don't know peggy to attack her and i repeatedly reached out to journalists so that they could amplify a message wow so that's a part i didn't know so i guess him obviously trying to destroy her reputation online is one thing personal experience and uh, it, it's obviously wrong there's obviously a legal aspect to it but some could argue that hey it's my personal experience with this person i have a right to tell my story but then i didn't know that he was going behind um behind the scenes contacting journalists in order to kind of broadcast his message further because that was something i wondered myself in it why didn't places like resident advisor mix mag dj mag cover the story it makes complete sense why they didn't because they're all in bed with peggy for the most part right i'd imagine some of them are also maybe in bed with um, daniel wang's label but um peggy's label as i proved to you in the other show in the other show um has some really strong hard-hitting djs part of it right so they didn't want to um ruin that relationship in any way shape or form by covering this beef they just went to kind of conveniently ignore it as they completely ignored every other scandal that Peggy's kind of been pulled up on but this one more so but he went he would have his way to kind of amplify that message so again he's completely in the wrong gear so like I said this is one of the biggest fuck-ups ever because she's not even a well-liked person and he still made himself look worse like that's a real talent it continues um there was a differences which ended our friendship but i was in the wrong for making unfounded claims about a career um i encouraged my friends to do so i would prefer that we all forget this incident but the internet is all but in the interest of fairness i am making this public statement <laughs> i will forget yeah you would i fully retract everything i said i knew at the time it wasn't true and i hope to everyone will forgive me for making such a commotion about nothing yours truly daniel wang commotion about nothing and if you if you're wondering yeah to, to kind of remember what he actually writ this is somebody put together or kind of copied and pasted the original statement so you can see the you kind of um the level of pettiness that included in the statement that just kind of put him in trouble for no joke right is here's how it goes this is strange years coming to an end the two best things happened in 2020 are because again this is how he started off the statement the straight this strange years coming to an end the two best things to happen in 2020 are donald trump got voted out of the white house and peggy goo moved out of my building he equated Peggy Goo, a DJ that he's having an issue with, because what she happens to be successful and lives in his building. That's what you're going to reduce it to, to um, the outing of Donald Trump or him losing the kind of the recent election. Like I guess at that time he, you know, he officially had quote unquote lost. That's how, that's how he started his beef with this lady. That's how he thought he was going to start. That's how he thought he was going to win this this war. And he continues, no, this is not a joke. I'm finally going public, right? As if like I don't know, she um you know violated him in the worst possible way um i'm finally going public and not as a dj page for only 50 people to read i've written this on my computer over and over again in my head for two three years i need to do this for my mental health so sorry but i need to say this and he just rambles on like this for a good couple of other paragraphs and then when you get to the point of it there's not much there really 
it's a bizarre coincidence that in this world that Peggy and Danny Wang live for three or four years separated by one floor before after she became famous I truly wish I never got in this stuck in situation it's time to tell the truth while the landlord is still removing the apartment renovating the apartment which she left um, in a rage when he found out that condition that she left it in so again unnecessary details that we didn't need to know about so you know he's he's getting his comeuppance in that regard and have we got a reply from Peggy in terms of what happened maybe you can equate this picture is this video a reply an indirect um, sort of reply to the summation is that young girl in the background Peggy and the kid with the guitar is that a representation of Danny Wang uh, I don't know what do you guys think <laughs> it could be who knows <laughs> let's see what she posted on the story about the issue did she say anything regarding it let's put the sound up no She's just moving like a gangster. She's not saying anything. <laughs> she's a top girl, man. You might not like her, but she's a top girl. I she... wanted to try in Korean and I was afraid in the beginning. Post of her on Instagram. What else is there going? Did she post anything else? No. So she hasn't taken a victory lap. She's just kind of left him to um, squirm online and run everything back but she's basically just kept it humble and just kept it moving oh you can't write it man you couldn't write a worse you couldn't write a worse conclusion to this story he absolutely effed it for himself didn't he what an absolute shower of a shite situation but there you go the 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 never-ending war between danny wang and peggy Goo. it's basically one way really to be fair isn't it? he was the one that was going back and forth in the messages and the comments getting people to comment on her stuff you know getting people to share more stories do you remember he got that story of some assistant or somebody that worked close that was complaining about the shoes and the bags and all this absolute nonsense that was happening that has nothing to do with her and then again if you're wondering oh why would he do this then look at the laws here regarding defamation in germany this is probably why he decided to recant his account of the situation pretty clearly so this is courtesy of website what's this called media laws database regarding the defamation laws in germany and this is the following the german criminal code provides the following three categories for defamation related offenses one insult is punishable by up to one year in prison two if committed by means of assault or fine two defamation criminal code art number 186 is defined by asserting or decimating or disseminating sorry a fact related to a person which is probably what she did um which may defame him or negatively affect a public opinion about him it is punished with a fine and imprisonment for up to one year a sentence of imprisonment for up to two years can be imposed if uh, the act is committed publicly or through the dissemination the dissemination of written materials god damn it free slander criminal um code r number 187 says it consists of a de defamatory statement that the speaker knows to be false and that is aimed at damaging the person's reputation or endangering his credit um his credit worthiness the punishment is a fine imprisonment for up to two years a sentence of imprisonment for up to five years can be imposed if the act is committed publicly or via media so definitely she got whacked with some kind of slander liable lawsuit got told to cease and desist keep your peggy name mouth peg keep peggy's peggy Koo's name out of her mouth i can't even say her name i don't want to keep it in my mouth but yeah she moves in exact silence in it she is an absolute legend this woman um she came through moved in silence didn't say too much on the old social media feed posted this amazing clip just after the statement went went live which again i think might be a bit of an indirect um, representation of her basically slapping some sense into daniel wang's head and telling him hey we don't you know you don't play around with me anymore and this is him groveling on the interwebs closing the comments right even though he was the one replying to people in the comments itself and if you don't believe me look at this where is it i think i've got it here no i think it's there right this is the one look this is a screenshot someone took from ages ago of danny one basically getting into the comments like here look this is his post here ranting and raving and then somebody posted their account of their um i guess of their encounter with peggy it says the, was it after the plane landed peggy then yelled at her sister at the gate because she made her wait for to get off of the plane not only is she an asshole that treats people badly she's also an idiot and her sister isn't a slave peggy is a garbage human yeah cool but this could also be applied to you know all number of people in the scene who kind of treat assistants or people that help them like total shit 
this has blown way way out of proportion and even though who knows this could be complete fabrication this could be a work of fiction we have no idea and here he is in the comments egging it on oh god it stinks to read this i knew it was i wasn't imagining it all such a drama queen and then now look um, the drama came to his front door he couldn't handle it put his tail between his leg hastily putting together apology because he doesn't want that lawsuit action because most of what he said was probably bullshit conjecture stuff that he you know hearsay for the most part and the fact that he was going because again i i think i respect i respect if you don't like somebody and you're just going to put out your own personal account um of how they basically dealt with you and if they kind of threaten you with a lawsuit you just shut up but you don't apologize right i think that's pretty ad not admirable but i can understand that right there's something to understand there but to go around behind the scenes kind of trying to rile up journalists or trying to get them to get involved in your nonsense to what in every, what was the end goal as well for this and it's like what was the end goal to get more gigs to make her look worse like if people didn't like her to begin with they weren't suddenly now going to not like her more you know what i mean if anything it's ruined his reputation more so in this respect she's come out she's actually come out of this looking pretty decent considering the level of abuse that she was getting on social she's treated it pretty good eh? she's not gone online and made herself into a victim or started crying on her on her cell phone or written a bit you know I mean? she's basically moved in silence got her lawyers involved and told him to sh keep his keep her name out of her goddamn mouth and now look we've got hastily putting together apology and it's now been concluded i guess isn't it it's over it's over with the beef is finally done and i'm glad for it to be honest anyway i could i could do it without reporting about this thing again and again and again i'm not even reporting i'm just kind of collating what people are posting online but hey what can one do <laughs>